I hope you guys can see me good. I feel like the lighting is a little dark sometimes, but I don't even know. Alright you guys, so I already primed my face, I already did my eyebrows or whatever. So first we're going to go in with the Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. And I'm in the shade 360. This is the lightest shade I've ever bought in my life, but once you put it on my face, it looked good. So we're going we gonna to see. We're going to see what it look like later on when we're done. But this is how light it is. Like, I never buy foundations this light. This is ridiculous, but... It's my shade, supposedly, so we're going to see how it works. So I'm going to use a brush to apply it because I heard that it takes a little bit to, like, or it dries fast. So, you know, I'm going to need to. I don't want to do this and, like, mess up the white of it. So, yeah, this is literally, like I said, the lightest foundation I've ever bought. And it's water-based, supposedly, so it doesn't oxidize what the lady told me. So we're going to see how this works out. As you can tell, it's really like um, liquidy, so we're just gonna blend it in. I don't know, I feel like it's light. Do I look crazy? I feel like I look crazy. Alright, so I'm gonna use a beauty blender just to like help the situation out because this brush is not really doing what I want it to do. So, yeah, it does dry down fast, it's definitely matte, so we know that for a fact now. But that's a good thing, because, you know, you know it will last long if it does that, so. Oily who? Because it won't be us. Alright, so, this doesn't really look like a toy shade compared to my neck, but we're going to, like, contour and stuff, so we should be fine after that. But it's definitely matte, no joke about that. I don't really have oily skin either, so I don't know if this is going to work out for me, because my skin's not dry either. I have, like, a combination type skin, depending on the season. But... All right, so next we're gonna go in with the concealer, and I have it in the same shade, which is the 360. Make sure I'm not ripping it because I don't know if I'm gonna keep this or not. But it's in the same little frosted bottle. Um, it is eight milliliters, and this foundation is 32. Just to let you guys know. So I'm gonna open it and see what it looks like. So wow, okay, I like the brush. So we're just gonna. Yeah, I like how long the brush is. Because I feel like it applies the perfect amount when you like swipe it. So these are supposedly the same shade, but it looks like it might be a little... I can't tell if it's a little darker a little bit. A little lighter, actually. So, yeah. But we're going to use a beauty blender to blend that in. Or Real Techniques, this is not beauty blender. Okay, so it's not hard to blend in. The shade is definitely slightly lighter than my foundation shade, which is good though, because you know, you want to brighten the under eyes and your other highlighting spots. So I'm not even like really mad about that. It's not like way off. So yeah, go with the shade that matches your foundation shade. I'm using a dry beauty blender by the way, so it's not really gonna come out the best way it can. Cause I feel like you have to have a wet one. So keep that in mind as well when you apply this. It does somewhat of a job, but it's not really, you know what I mean. All right. So now I'm gonna go in with the powder. And like I said before, I got the shade Honey. So let me just open it. Oh, it's so pretty. Look. I love this. It's so pretty. It's huge. This is 28 grams. Okay. 28 grams. And so I'm just gonna actually pour it. Well, not pour it, but I'm gonna, um, hold on. <laughs> this top is a little, so I'm gonna pat down. Let it shake or whatever. Okay, y'all. So I was just digging in the box and I didn't notice. There's a little slide. There is another stopper. Or oh, there's a stopper. Okay, so we have enough product out now. 
So I'm gonna take this Morphe M554 brush, get some, tap the excess off, and we're gonna use this to make. So we're gonna let that sit on our face. Let me just close it back here. That sit on our face for a little bit, and we're gonna go ahead and contour. And I'm gonna be using the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in medium to dark to do so. And while we're letting it sit, I'm gonna go in with my lip oil so I can make sure my lips are moisturized. Go in with my mascara, Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. So now I'm going to sweep away the excess powder. Okay, she's cute. She's not, you know, harsh or anything. All right, I like this powder. I really want to try banana though, but I feel like this might be it. I'm not sure, but like, this might be my shade for me. Okay. So now I'm going to go in with the Fenty Gloss Balm in the shade Fussy. And now I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter and just get some of that champagne shade in this. So usually after this, all these steps, I would just spray my setting spray, but I left my setting spray upstairs. So we're just going to go based off the look so far. This foundation is very matte. Now I know this dropped before today, but I just want to let you guys know how I feel about it. The powder, I actually do like it. It, You can't even really tell that, you know, it's like there, if that makes sense. Like, you know, you use powder and baked. But some powder, oh, some, some powders, they look harsh on your skin. This one, it's like, it's natural on my skin. And then as long, um, then with the concealer, like it's, it just blended right in. It blended right in. Now it was the same shade, so I'm not sure, you know, if it's like amazing. But the way it blended in, the way it just sat in my skin, my face, it just, you know, it went right in. So um, when I come back from work, I'm going to show you guys what I look like with it on. And we're going to see like if it gets oily or anything like that or if it oxidizes. I'm only working for four hours, but I feel like I work, so like I'm moving around a lot and things like that. And we're going to see what it looks like. So... Yeah, this is the finished look as far as the makeup goes. So we're just going for like a neutral, you know, look or whatever. And I'll see you guys in a few. Y'all, so I'm just that right now. I'm on my phone. This kid's in the background screaming. But my camera died, so I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like on my phone. And my skin looks flawless, okay? Like, I look good. So I'll show you guys what it looks like out in the natural lighting. Alright you guys, so I know I sound so bad and I should not have to do this in every video. But I forgot to film an outro because I thought I was gonna be filming my makeup after work. But I got so tired that night and I honestly forgot to do it. So here are some pictures of what my makeup looks like that same night after I got off work. And yeah, um thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys liked it. And don't forget to comment some ideas for the next video. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe, of course. And don't forget to click that bell to be notified whenever I post again. Like I said, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!